Hey guys, before I get started, I do want to apologize if the audio is a little weird or there's a lot of background noise. I'm not in my usual area. Um, but anyways, I, I originally wanted to make a 2008, um, like, goals kind of video, but then it's just, my goals are freaking boring and nobody wants to hear about those. So instead, I'm going to make a video just talking about whatever I want. I'm going to talk about, I think, unrequited crushes, I guess because I've been making a bunch of video videos videos I've been making a bunch ah, a bunch of videos on like love advice I guess and so I thought you know like I should just make a video on unrequited crushes because believe it or not uh, not all of my feelings have been returned to me <laughs> that sounds weird um, I know it's pretty pretty shocking considering my dash and good looks and incredible personality but believe it or not yes not everyone had the same feelings for me now before I do actually get started I do want to talk about the picture a little bit it is kind of okay it's kind of like a vent picture but it's not venting sad feelings more like venting good feelings I don't know if that's actually a thing but that's what it is um, it's it's actually I'm really proud of this picture it's just a headshot it's nothing too like different it's very boring but i i did this on purpose because i just wanted to focus on coloring and experimenting with coloring so that's why i use such a boring headshot and i did end up liking the result a lot and the the caption on the picture was she loves you but the original caption was supposed to be i love you but i knew that if i did that it'd be kind of too specific and most people would know that that is like like that caption was for a specific person and I just wanted to be more, I don't know, just not focus on one person, focus on all of you guys. So it was She Loves You. Anyways, I am going to go on with the topic. So don't expect any super cool stories. Like my life is so freaking boring. There isn't any drama. So that's all I got to say. But I've had a lot of crushes before um, on multiple different people and stuff like that. And I, you know, most of the time there's no story to be had just because I was such an awkward shy person growing up I still am of course but it was just way worse back then especially with boys just because like my whole life I was raised like you're a girl and they're boys and they're different and you guys were born to like breed and like stuff like that and it's just really weird and it just made me think that boys were like a completely different species while I was growing up so I, I was just so awkward with them usually like in elementary and middle school and high school I was like way more chill college I was like eh. and then now like a majority of the people I talk to are guys um, but yeah I was just really awkward back then so I remember the first crush I want to talk about I'm gonna alter their names because I just in case like I, I know they're not gonna see this video but uh, the first I just I'm rambling too much the first person I'm gonna call him uh, Jacob so <laughs> there's this guy named Jacob and to be completely honest I cannot remember why I liked him like I don't like because I never talked to boys so there's nothing like personality wise that it could have been attracted to and he I don't know I guess he was cute to me back then he had a bowl haircut I'm sure back then little Leslie was like oh heck yeah like this is a man I can get behind I was in middle school by the way um I don't remember why I liked him but I would kind of like pass him a lot um, when he was like sitting down somewhere just like walk back and forth just to look at him like a freaking weirdo and he had this best friend let's call him we're gonna call him uh, Michael no wait I know a Michael I can't call him Michael um I want to call him Ben <laughs> so he had a best friend named Ben and somehow this little middle school Leslie was like dang Ben is looking really good like screw Jacob Ben is the new guy so I was I'm I have always been by the way somebody who cannot like two people at the same time like I can find more than one person attractive but it can't have a crush on more than one person I don't know why it's just how I am so I stopped liking Jacob and I started liking Ben and Ben I actually got to talk to him um, I just got over or I tried to get over like my awkwardness but I was so awkward with this guy like I feel so bad I cringe every time I think about it because I remember I'd kind of talk to him but not really I don't remember how we were in the same class I guess 
and I would give him like candy because I remember it was English class and every every time like the first 15 minutes of English class we had to read our AR book or whatever and if we were reading we would get a piece of candy like the teacher would come around and give us candy if you forgot your book no candy for you and the thing is I love candy I love sweets but Ben was just so important to me that I would see my candy and after class I would always give him my candy and I would kind of like condition him into thinking that every time I would see him that he would get candy for me that was pretty great I don't I don't know and then I remember this one really really cringy cringy thing I did I it's so embarrassing I've only admitted this to one person so I'm gonna admit it to a bunch of you guys right now is I remember I live in a Spanish household, you guys. We are Hispanic, we're Latino, whatever. Uh, there's my grandma was watching telenovelas on the TV or whatever, and which is like a soap opera, Spanish soap opera, which are super dramatic, but all soap operas are, I guess. And I remember hearing this one line from it. I'm pretty sure it's a "Tu tienes lo que quiero," I think. Hi, future Leslie here. Just letting you know that I am so sorry for using the wrong form of "tener" or whatever. Um, the actual quote is Tu tienes lo que quiero with an S I am not a Spanish speaker And I am so sorry Please continue on and just ignore Every time I use a frong The frong? Okay, bye I think, tu tienes lo que quiero? I don't know But it, uh, if I am correct I could be, uh, I'm, you know I'm very white, but it, I think it means You have what I want Which can be super sexual I think, but like Little Leslie was like, yo, that's so romantic I gotta tell Ben this <laughs> and so I remember like he was walking to class and I was like yo I want to tell you something in Spanish and he was like he's, he's a white dude obviously so he was like um okay and so I said it I like whispered it to him I was like dude tiene lo que quiero and he was like what does that mean and I was like hey, it's a secret <laughs> and I'm like I don't think he ever looked it up because I'm sure if he did he'd be like yo I'm gonna I gotta avoid this chick she crazy but I don't think he ever looked it up because he was like super cool after that still um but yeah I like I can't believe I it's just so dumb like I know it probably isn't anything but it was so embarrassing to me and it still is why would I even consider doing that I don't know um but yeah I, I was just really awkward with him I could barely talk to him I was super try hard with him like I don't know just trying too hard to be funny and stuff and uh just butchering jokes it was butchering jokes I don't know it was just so bad but anyways we're gonna move on to high school where I was still pretty awkward but like a little bit less awkward and we're gonna talk about this guy named um I'm gonna name this guy Kevin so Kevin was a cool dude super tall super blonde like he kind of reminds me of the mom from the Brady Bunch um, without like the little you know how she has the flippy hair part like remove that part and make the top part of her hair like kind of wavy because he had like a mole somewhere on his face and she has a mole I don't know he, she, he reminds me of the Brady Bunch mom and he was super sweet and pretty awkward himself and we sat next to each other in English class and I don't know I just he didn't really care much about me like he didn't care about what I had to say and I, that sounds really mean but he, he was super sweet I swear he just like wasn't really interested um, and me <laughs> but I was just you know I was so okay you know that joke where it's like freshmen in, in high school bring like the big chunky backpacks and like the huge binders because they're over prepared that was me that I had the biggest backpack and this, this huge like zippable binder like I didn't need it at all it was so it, I was just in the way of everyone I don't know I did end up getting a new backpack soon because I was like yo this is too much or I think I got a new binder but yeah I was just very awkward and I would just I remember this around this moment in high school I got this I was in my DDR phase um, to anybody who doesn't know what DDR stands for it is a dance dance revolution and you might be wondering how the heck do you get into a dance dance revolution phase you just gotta be awkward and very competitive who has a DDR? I don't know. But yeah, I would just talk to him like every time I would see him like, yo, like I played DDR this weekend and I got like a new high score and like there's this song that's super hard. I don't know, just like super dumb, boring dance dance revolution stuff. And he would just sit there and like nod and smile and be like, yeah, that's cool. Like, but he obviously didn't care. And I do remember, I did eventually stop talking about it because I got called out on it. There's this guy named... 
Tony. And <laughs> I'm all giving them all white names because I live in a very white area, okay? I'm sorry, it's not my fault. But there's this guy named Tony, and I remember he was like, I think he liked me, but I was not interested. I don't know, though. I could be making it up or whatever. But I remember he would sit in front of us, and he, like, one day just turned around. And, he, and what did he say? He's like, nobody cares about your Dance Dance Revolution stuff or something like that. Like, I don't know. Or, like, all oh, you talk about DDR. He said something like that, and I got super embarrassed. And what did I give that guy? Kevin, like, did not care. Like, he didn't stand up for me or anything. So I knew that guy was sick of it. I don't know. It was so embarrassing. But, um, yeah, I stopped talking about it, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna keep my hobbies to myself. So, yeah. So, yeah, he just didn't really care about me, and, but he was super sweet, and, like, any time I would pass him during school, he would, like, do an awkward wave, like, I kind of know you, but, like, not really. I'm with my friends. Don't talk to me, that kind of thing, you know? Um, but, yeah, he was, he was sweet. And <laughs> the last person I want to talk about is actually not really a crush. I had... Okay, I'm gonna be 100% honest. I feel like nobody's gonna believe me, but please believe me when I say I had no like intentions of pursuing this dude. This was in high school again. I think it was freshman year. Yeah, it was freshman year. I was not interested in this guy at all. However, I was really interested in being his friend because I was really awkward with guys, still kind of, and I didn't have any guy friends. All my friends were girls, and I really wanted a homie. I wanted a bro. I wanted a bro dude that I can chill with. So I was like desperate to have a bro friend. <laughs> so um, there's this guy. Let's call him Jack. <laughs> so Jack, he was sitting. He sat behind me in class. He was super cool. Now that I think about it. Every single one of these guys was blonde. I had a thing for blondes back then. Now, it's all about dark hair and colored eyes. Like, heck, F me up with that ish. However, back then, little Leslie was super into blondes. But anyways, e Jack, super cool, like a super chill dude. I really wanted to be his friend. The last day of school, we were like hanging out. Nobody really came during the, la the last day of school. Like, it wasn't that necessary. Um, some teachers made it like mandatory to be like if you don't come during the last day i'm gonna drop off a grade i don't know if that's impossible but uh, yeah they would threaten you with that but um i still went to school just because i lived a couple blocks away and i knew it was gonna be empty and like we we're just gonna chill out so i went and he went too and a couple of my friends did and like he was so cool and we were really good for that whole day like we were chilling all day nothing weird was going on like he would draw pictures of us together like just chilling and it was super cool at stick figures of course um so i thought things were going good i was on my way to brodom like i had it in the bag to be this guy's bro and i'm so passionate about this this makes me mad because um, things were going good then we hung out after school and I think because the after school part was really boring like I was like yo dude we're gonna have so much fun we're gonna like eat stuff and like chill but it ended up being super boring like we tried to do prank calls but they sucked and stuff like they were like really bad prank calls and I don't know the food wasn't that great it was just a super boring day and I feel like he wanted to leave early on but I was just like no like dude it's gonna be cool um, but yeah, and I think he got the impression that I really wanted to like date him or something I think he maybe thought it was supposed to be a date like I wanted it to be a date, but it wasn't I don't know But I think he got the feeling that I was interested in him and he I guess he wasn't interested back so after that day like he just he completely just ignored me like the next school year he would just like look past me he wouldn't even look at me um i would try to text him like throughout the summer um not like a lot because i kind of had a feeling it wasn't like going good um like i texted him like once or twice like, just completely just ignored not even the time of day it, it felt so bad because i was like yo what happened i thought we were gonna be like friends and buddies and i don't know um but yeah, and I remember even my friends didn't believe me. They're like, oh, you liked him. And I was like, no, like, don't get me wrong. He's not an ugly dude. Like, he was okay. But I just genuinely really wanted a guy friend because I've never had a guy friend. Um, yeah, and that was just, it was really upsetting. And I do remember, like, a year, a whole year after, I was still hoping to be this guy's friend because I remember texting him. Like, it was on Easter, and I was like, happy Easter or whatever. And nothing that was like a whole year later so i was like you know what like it's obviously over 
I did something wrong. I scared this dude off. I just got to get over it. So I did. I just, yep, I never talked to him again. And it was really sad <laughs> because I really wanted to be this dude's friend. But whatever. Like, I'm a good friend usually. So I think he missed out on a, on a good friendship. But yeah, so that's pretty much my whole thing. Um, I hope you had fun listening to this. I don't know. I know there's not a lot of drama and stuff. I, you know, if you guys really want me to create drama in my life, I'll do it for you. Just kidding. I won't. Like, there's not enough times, you know. But yeah, I just, you know, letting you guys know you aren't alone. Not everybody gets everything they want. Like, screw all those people. They missed out, okay? <laughs> Look at where I am now. Drawing and talking over my drawings. What a great life I live. Anyways, I'm donezo. It's over. I'm just, I don't want to think about this anymore. Thank you so much for listening. Please be good outlets for me, and I'll see you guys next week. <laughs>